Hey guys, Fastman14 here, and today we're going to be learning how to use the Bogs AXA. Before doing that, I'm running DOSBox right now, and as you, see, as you can see, we're not on C drive. I'm um, also running on Linux, so it's going to be a bit different on Windows. For, um, Windows. So on Linux, you type in mount C uh, no, slash home slash the username that I chose for the uh, operating system. For my case, it's Sean. Now, when you install Linux, you'll be prompted for like a um, screen name or whatever. Th that one, what you put in there is what you put right there. So, like right here. And then, I, um, it's kind of tricky when the first time. You're supposed to put C colon. And for some reason it says I'm in the C drive, but, um, why not? I mean, is there even a C drive on Linux? I don't really know. Anyways, um, to get Linux, I mean, to get the bug thing, see, I would suggest either going to school, and usually in school day they have, like, I mean, my school, they have, like, Windows XP, so... I just brought my flashlight into school and just copied the bug that you see from the system32 folder and brought it back home, put it um, in my uh, directory where this is, and just um, start the tutorial. So then type in the bug. No one has a dot exe, don't even just type in the bug, it doesn't really matter. And we get prompted with this dash right here. If you really don't, if you really don't know what you're doing, just type in the question mark. And it'll give you a whole lot of stuff here. I don't know what this is all about, but okay. Um, I this has might be useful later on, but I don't know how to use it quite yet. So we'll be using a sample D as a dump, like find um. The hex address. Like, wait, let me say something we've had before doing that. Um, the blog is a assembler, is assembler, hex editor, and yeah. And, um, so D, it dumps out the bytes. I don't really use range, I mean, I don't really know why I would use that. I think range is just for so you can read a certain amount of bytes, but how are you supposed to know, you know what I mean? And also, the reason go, go to address addresses, um, I'll explain that later. They don't, they're not really, really specific about that. What it does is it just, um, shows you all the registers and 16 bit debug, I mean 16 bit assembly, and show their corresponding values that are put in out the commands I'll be showing you later on. And, um, you're gonna be using R register later on. I'll explain that later. So, let's, um, so let's assemble A. Now, com files start at 0, just 100. And, um, notice how it says address. My mouse is messed up. Notice how it says address right here. You're gonna wanna put that in once you put some once you want to start here again. So, let's move uh, A, H, or A, L with, I don't know, 9. Now, A, L, or A is like the accumulator for assembly. It does all the mass op, well, not mass operations. But I think it does. And some sub functions and, um, system calls. I'll explain that later. And a, a L is the lower byte. And if you want to see what that's doing, like where you can see that, so zero, I mean G equal sign zero one hundred, then where you left off at so zero two. Zero one oh two. And as you can see, this lower byte right here is zero nine. So to get the higher bytes What's the number? You want A, 0, 100 to go back 
to 0, 100, obviously. And then move a H was a higher byte with 9. I just got the number on my own. I just, I don't know what 9 just came to my head, so. Ignore that. So now I'm on G, 0, 100. Two. As you can see, um, 0, 9 is a lower byte and 0, 9 is a higher byte. Now, 8x. This is both bytes. So basically, um, notice how it's only like 4 digits long. You can't really go higher than that. I mean, it's just 16 bit. So, let's assemble 0, 100 uh, again and mo move AX with. Now, if you type in another number, it'll give you an error, but you can't really tell what the error is. What it is, it's too high for, for the assembler. It's just um, not going to work. So I'll move AX with 99. And um, I think the reason why we're at 0103 is because it's bigger, I guess. I'm not really sure. These are just offsets in the file, pretty much, like these um, addresses. It's offset, it's totally hard. So G, 0, 100, and then 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 3. And now we can see on um, 9 is there. Um, make sure to know this. AX is a cumulator of the math and some procedures, stuff like that. Now, BX is a base register. Um, I think it like, I forget what it does. Oh, it's the restart time and again. Then CX, the count register. It's usually, it's usually the loop, loop instruction. Well, I don't really, I don't really use that. I mean, it's like JMP for jump. I don't really use CX that much. And DX, it's a data register, which is very useful. And it's also a data, it's a, it's a data pointer, and AX is a accumulator pointer. You'll you'll understand that later in the tutorial. So um, DX is a data pointer, and uh, it well holds all data like variables and stuff like that, and points to data and bytes. I don't really know. And SP. Um, that's a stack pointer. Don't mess with this. Let you know what you're doing. And BP is a base pointer. What that does is it points to the bottom of the stack. Don't mess that either. Let you know what you're doing. SI, I don't really get these two. This is supposed to mean source index. And I don't even know what that is. And then DI, um, I think it's like destination index. I forget. And then these right here, I forgot what they mean too. Sorry guys, I really I don't study language too much. So, um, now we're actually now we're actually gonna make a whole world program. So a through one hundred. Now move a h. I need a higher byte because I was playing later, or I really don't even know actually. But yeah, choose a higher byte and use it works. Then move dx. The reason I'm raising dx with all of it is because when you're typing in everything, all the bytes in there. Alright, my dad is plugged in. So, move DX 0109. This is a address of where the data is stored. So, yeah, so you need the whole entire register DX in order to put all the numbers in. And then we have int 21. Um, this doesn't mean integer, it means interrupt. 21 is just a function which corresponds to these two values. 
Now, Moom adds in 09. That's um for like string printing or print out a string. And the axis where the string is located. Or no, 019. And then we have int 20, which with move AH is um basically exit out of the program. And now without this, it'll just give me you give me the wrong address and it won't even work. So um then we have db, which means define byte, and um, anything, you can put as much as you want there, but it's going to change offset, that the bytes are offset, whenever you um, put more in there. I think there's an offset right there, I'm not really sure. So then you put either a dollar sign, or you can do comma 24. This in decimal is 24, but ASCII is a dollar sign, so either of them, either, either of them work, and I end up at 104, because how big this file is. And then we use RCX, we're going to register the CX, CX register, and I was never really explained why you register the CX is that's what I was being told. So then, what you want to do is, you want to subtract 10, or 100, from this way here, and you get like 14. Now, you can put a really big byte in there if you really don't know what you're doing. I used to do that, but not anymore. And then name, hello.com. Don't put hello world.com. It can not really messed up. It's because it's the bytes are too big and can't read that much, so yes, just put hello.com. Then we write them and go to program and run it. And there we go. And one more thing I want to show you, or a couple more things actually. Debug hello.com. And now we're going to use id command. You see how all these like zeros all around here. Those are just empty bytes pretty much. Like I I don't know about empty but like useless. But empty space, whatever it's called. And then really this is this is seriously what what's in the file. If you open on the text file, we open the file, this is what's inside there. Like, if you open up a notepad, this is all you really see. It's insane. Just imagine how small this file is right now. So, yeah, it's pretty small, isn't it? So, um... Um, yeah. If you want to unassemble this, you can use the U command. And I know, like, um, this is kind of weird right here. I guess I just mean... The, the, the program doesn't really know what to read after this, so I just put some random stuff in there, I guess. Now, DB, I think he's being, like, Text addresses or like something like um values or something like that. I never really understood this. I mean, I, I really doubt that my string is that place long. I don't really understand that part, but I'm pretty sure this is a string right here. And you can see the source code is all from right here to right there. Now, if you had a really big program and you don't understand everything else, you would type in you again, and it would give you more of the source code. Now, a reason why you want to learn this language is, to be honest, is literally for hacking. If you want, well, like, reverse engineering and stuff like that, then that's literally why people learn this language. The problem is, it's a 16 bit assembler, and most of the programs these days are 32 bit or 64 bit. I don't think 64 bit is something even exist. I never, I never really looked into it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what tutorial on sixty-four bit assembly. Yeah, it's insane. But then thirty-two bit for the run on um sixty-four bit operating system. So yeah, um, another thing I want to show you. Say if you type in the wrong address. 
So I, that. And then you end up at 0, 1, 9. And you really can't, you really can't um, do anything right there. You would just exile and assemble that address right here and make it 0, 1, 9. Then you have to assemble again and change and change what um, 019 is going to be, which is nothing right now. So 0109 db hello world dollar sign there. And we end up at this address right here. And so um, you would just same with him before. That would change the more bytes you have in there. You can have a menu line, really. Now, here's a line break, but I don't remember how to do it. Some break code in there. So, let's write this and do that. And run my gun. Holy crap. Oh, Spike said override it. That's strange. I just delete it. And write again. Seriously, I didn't see that coming right there. Awkward. I can't even type in this. I'm ahead of myself. Um, that was really weird. I thought when this, I thought when this, I sent the overwrite it and this, um, replace it. I don't know what's going on here. Awkward. Dang it! Oh, come on. I just had to tell the program an accident. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't really have a um editing video feature. I don't know how to run Linux. I use some programs out there, but they don't even work that very well. I'm not going to type in all that. And it's going to throw 10 out of this because that's where I'm numbering right, 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 right now. Alright, uh, I'm just really sick of this. Then you would just do throw it off. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. And yeah, if you have any questions, don't expect me to really answer them because I did not really a pro at assembly. To be honest, I don't see anyone a pro at assembly, but actually no one's a pro. But yeah, so if you have any questions, I'll try and answer it. I might even give you like a reference to where you can learn all this stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching.